All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to all the came out there preaching this word in truth and sincerity. This is the brother Shamar coming back with another lesson. And I've seen this, uh, this news clip going into how some more anti Semitic attacks happening in Manhattan now, you know, in New York. All right, now if you could, um, if you've been noticing, from all these other these news clips that have been coming out and incidents going on, they've been happening in different states, you know. You had this dude out there in um, New Jersey, I believe. Then you had the situation out there in L.A. Now you got this situation out here in um, New York, all right. And whenever Esau, he, he has uh, an agenda behind something, he, he keeps pushing it. Like different things keep happening continually back to back, so to speak. And that's exactly what you have going on with these so-called anti-Semitic attacks. And why is it happening now out of, um, out of any other time, you know? Like, yeah, we've been known about anti-Semitism, whatever, but it was mainly people that would say, like, say things that would be, offend Esau or these so-called Jews. And then they would, they would um, get backlash for it. But now it's to a point to where they're actually getting physically attacked, all right? Where their stores getting hit up, or they getting shot at, or hit um beat up, whatever the case may be, like they be going into in these different um alleged reports or accounts, you know. And the reason that Esau is doing all this is like the um you know the brothers be saying, man, for that the, um, to demonize us even more. And now he's he's pushing it more and more, man. All right, like I said, you've been having all these different situations happening in the different states. All right, New Jersey, L.A., and now um, New York. And there, whenever you hear it on the news media, you see the clip, they always say what? They say that these attacks are increasing, happening um, very often. And you already know who they're going to try to link the, um, the attacks back to, you know, which is our people, you know. Our people being um, the people that are, um, claim to believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, ultimately, man. All right, if you claim that you're an Israelite, all right, they're going or they're going to link a black to the black Hebrew Israelites, whatever the case may be. They're just building up the narrative, man. All right, and Esau knows what he's doing. That's why he's he's continually making um making more situations happen, pretty much. All right, before he comes with the something else later down the line, you know, because then he's gonna be like, all right, look, they've been doing they've been doing stuff out here, over there, over here, all across the states. And it's all linked back to people that believe in this, or whatever the case may be. You know how easily Esau spins the narrative, and people are um, are waiting to hear it. You know, and they'll believe it because they're simple. But I'm gonna play this news clip and get um, a few precepts. Hour with the latest in a string of hate crimes against Jewish people across the city. We have also learned that there was a sixth attack very early this morning. CBSN New York's Nick Calloway has more on that investigation from the Gravesend section of Brooklyn. So far, there have been at least six attacks against Jewish people this week, two of them here in Brooklyn just in the last 24 hours. Avenue U in Gravesend was the site of one of the latest attacks Thursday. A 34-year-old Jewish woman was walking with a three-year-old child. Witnesses say another woman approached and hit the victim in the face with a grocery bag full of unknown items, then shouted an anti-Semitic slur. The suspect, a 42-year-old homeless woman, was arrested on hate crime charges. It's the latest in a string of attacks against Jews in Manhattan and Brooklyn this week. Alita Musamechi works in the market nearby and saw part of Thursday's attack. We in almost 2020, let it go, uh, the, regardless of the color, the religion, we all human beings. Everybody should be together. On Twitter, Mayor Bill de Blasio said the NYPD would have a heightened visibility <coughs> along with increased visits to houses of worship to deter crimes like these. The department's hate crimes task force is investigating the five attacks. The Anti-Defamation League told CBS2 that the surge in violence against Jews during Hanukkah is alarming. And we have to be very aware that there's a face and in, in individuals that are affected by these acts of hate uh, that are now happening, unfortunately, almost on a daily basis. And just this morning, police say another attack took place. A woman was arrested after she slapped three Jewish women in the face and head in Crown Heights. In Brooklyn, Nick Calloway, CBS in New York. You hear that? This is just randomly going around slapping so-called Jews. Like, come on now. 
But you can hear how in the clip they're saying that the, the attacks are increasing and happening very often, man. Happening more often. All right. So it's just, out of all out of all the times that Esau could have been having all this type of stuff happen to them, now it's happening. You know, all of a sudden, right? Yeah, we know that it's not a coincidence. All right, it's an agenda behind it that the, uh, the so-called white man has planned to to demonize our people ultimately, man. All right, because the the uh, majority of the attacks there they're relating it back to the to who the first two and um the first three really. All right, the one before the New Jersey incident, then the one in New Jersey, and the one in L.A., they linked it back to the Black Hebrew Israelites. They didn't mention it in this one, but they could easily say like, "Oh, they came across," you know, they looked into the people, they believe in this, they watch this, whatever, you know, make up some wild story, and then try to link it right back to us, because the other two situations are already so-called linked to uh, Black Hebrew Israelites. All right. But you can see what he's trying to do, all right? And this is Second Corinthians 2 and 11. At least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, and we're not ignorant of what Esau does, man. All right? He likes to paint the narrative. He likes to push out lies, man. Just like you've seen with everything else that he does, man. 9-11, all right? All these different other situations that happen. What happened? When, how does he tell the story? He tells the story in lies on his far, far as from his side of the story. And then what happens? The truth comes out and gets exposed and the whole time he was lying. Now, with this scenario, it's nobody else to, to tell a different side of the story, so to speak. He only going to hear one side of the story. And that side of the story, he want to push is that, that we're the um, we're terrorists, we're, we're the people causing uh, violence, we're a violent hate group, extremists, all these other things. Just to do what? Build up more persecution against us for what we believe in. All right? The uh the L A situation that happened um you seen on the news clip they had the poster board that actually said the name you know the name Yahweh Shai not not all these other names that people use it's specifically the name Yahweh Shai man all right so it's showing you that Esau is getting ready to to uh, persecute us for what we believe in and then I had went into um the uh, other thing with Joe Biden. All right, how he he's trying to deem you basically if you you're against LGBT stuff, you're he trying to put you on the, a watch list for t to be a possible terrorist. All right, for pretty much what they call being a Christian. All right. So you can see the narrative that Esau is pushing and what he's getting ready to do pretty much. All right, he's getting ready to come with that great wrath and he's going to try to use fear to make you not believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right. This is Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath. Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And we know who this is talking about man. All right. The devil that is talking about is Esau man. All right. He's, he's, he knows he has a short time. And now he's trying to get things popping off man. All right. Do we not even in the year 2020 yet. And all these different scenarios then happening in a short span of time as, as far as regarding the alleged anti-Semitic mm -hmm. attacks and stuff. So you can already see what's going to um, be going on leading into 2020, man. You could imagine. All right. It's only going to be getting more intense, more heated. All right. More persecution, more scenarios like this going on. Because you didn't have, um, like I said. Uh, I believe all three of those situations happened what in the same within the same month. I know the last two did the L.A. one and that one. All right, and then next week we gonna be in twenty twenty. So you see how the report they're trying to build up, man. They're gonna have more situations like this happening, and then so called connecting all the dots and trying to link it back to us and say that we're the hate group that's been inspiring and causing people to do. Some crazy stuff like what you've been hearing in the different clips and in the um, news stories, you know. Hey, nonetheless, like I said, we we're not we're not ignorant of the of um <clears throat> of what Esau does, man. We we expected this to happen. It's written in the scriptures, man. All right, and we know that he's doing this because he's trying to stop this word from coming out, and he knows he has a short time, and his time is up. All right.
Hey, so with that, I'm going to wrap up. I just want to touch on the, um, the video clip, the news clip, because this is, it's you know, it's wild how all of a sudden it's a lot of anti-Semitic attacks happening randomly now, you know, a lot, a lot, of, a lot more often. Hey, so with that, I'm going to wrap up and give all praises again to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, Basham, Rukak Wadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom, I'm taught to out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. Shalom.